Park with Chestnuts and Tom. Here's the other shop we visited the other day, guys. We hold it there. What do we got right here? Another shop that I visited the other day. Who uh, has it going on here, guys? I want to make sure I come back and bring you guys through here. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. <laughs> yeah. Told you we're gonna go down there, dog. Try to put it down, you know. <laughs> Hello. Hello. My name's Al. Sherry, nice, nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Came back. I had to come back with my good camera to make sure I got you for the for the for the vlog. You know what I mean? Yeah. You guys leaving today? Yeah, we're leaving today. We're leaving. Yeah. We're flying out at seven. So we got we got a little while. I we're walking around and checking out your city. Beautiful city, man. I love it, man. I love it. I'm gonna come back next year for sure, man. I think they're saying they might do it at uh What's your name again? Kelly Cam the Barber baby. What's your IG? Kelly Cam the Barber on Instagram. Kelly Cam the Barber guy. D A Barber. <laughs> the barber, all right, guys. You guys got that? Yeah, big Kelly guy, right here. Right here. Guy, man. Woo! Yeah, yeah. So you can be next year, huh? Yeah, for sure. Let <laughs> me <laughs> <laughs> take you guys back oh, here, guys. Yeah, this is a big shop. Look at that. They got two, three, four. You have potential six stations in here. This is a humongous barber shop, guys. Huge barbershop in a great location. It, uh, man. Beautiful shop. Do you have an IG also? I do. What's your IG? Ruby underscore Clippers. Ruby underscore Clippers, guys. Get that? You know, a hot towel shave right here. My favorite. Mine too. I love doing shaves. I'm always, I'm always trying to get our customers to do shaves because it's a dying, uh, it's a dying service, dying service, and not, not, you know what I mean? I always tell my, I always tell Raul, my Raul's my apprentice, and I always tell him, I go, look, when somebody comes in for a beer trim, I'll offer him a hot towel shave. You know, it's just, you know, it's only a few dollars more, and, and most men have never even gotten one, and. Just remind them that. You know, ask them, have they ever gotten a hot towel shave? No. They're going to tell you. Well, then you every man should have one. You know? yep. My hair <laughs> service automatically comes with a neck, razor neck shape up. And oh, absolutely. Absolutely. My daughter, my, daughter is a, my daughter is a barber also. Oh, is she? Where does she work? She works for me. Oh, yeah, her name is uh, hers is J Lo Lady Barber. J Lo Lady Barber. Yeah, follow her. Yeah, she she gets down and she's uh she's been a barber for eight years also, and the same thing with her when she started cutting, I used to tell her like, you know, you every every service should be finished with 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 hot lather and, and the straight razor every service because if you don't, then you're not keeping it authentic, you know. Exactly. And uh, to this day, she's 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 uh she's 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 a, she's a, she's a barber beast too. I uh. Um, I just love that part of the, I think it's, it's a great service and my clients love it. It doesn't finish the air cut off really nicely. Guys, if you guys are noticing, she's going on the upstroke too. Mm -hmm. That's not downstroke. No, you gotta do it right. When I started uh, in school, I shadowed with a barber and the very first day he gave me a razor and said do the neckline and he forced me into the crack. <laughs> that's right, that's right, that's how you learn. Right away. He's like, it's the one thing in school you're not going to like focus on, they're going to make you shave a balloon and call it a day. Yeah. Awesome. It's a great service. Now I gotta wait still. So appointment shits are the best, bro.
we, did, we barely started doing appointments at our shop six months ago. Before that, it was all walk-ins for the, for the, I mean, it was... Yeah, that's like, man, a big stress for me, bro, you. Exactly. You, a day, you can take a break, you know? You know what, mean? even I, after six months, I'm still never booked completely, so I still got to do walk-ins. Yeah. But our shop is mainly, I would say, 80% walk-ins, so... Well, people will get, like, they'll catch on to another day, bro. Well, like, I'm, the, I'm, me and this other barber are the busiest barber, so, like, for us, People have to book like for sure Saturday and Friday. Like if you're not booking Friday, Saturday, mm -hmm. then you're you're gonna, have to, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to wait. wait. Yeah. It's like you said, you don't want to wait four no, hours. No, and and I and I and I got customers that come in and they're like, "Can you take me next?" I'm like, "Nah, I got like three yeah, more. I got I got I got three more, dude." He's all like, "I, I go, you should have booked an appointment." Oh, I don't want to do appointments. I'm all then. It's hard to. Then you, 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 you gotta wait. Got this open. Man, I always call this man always a week ahead for a Friday or Saturday. I tell him, and I'm like, yo. You don't like appointments, but you don't like to wait, right? So which one's better? You know, you can come in, sit down, get your hair cut, and go. Do whatever you need to yep. do. Or do you want to come in and sit down? And wait fucking hours wait. just to get a cut. Like, so which I one do you that. like better? We charge $8 more for the appointment, and some customers are like, that's $8 more. I go, well, isn't two hours worth $8? Like, yeah. think about it, man. Like. Not that much. It's not that much when you when you're gonna sit there for two hours or, or longer, you know, you, waiting. You, you know, charge, you charge a little bit of a percentage of what the hair costs. The haircut. Uh, well, I am. Uh, I. I'm actually going. <laughs> I'm fired for it. I got your money. I'm like yo. I'm like yo. Like you booked me twice. You know. So oh, like, you about to tell me. <laughs> No call, no shows, bro. They're the worst, bro. You're expecting somebody to. You got somebody on your book and they don't show up, man. I've been getting a lot of those. I've been getting a lot of those lately. Yo, I felt bad one day. I I woke up late, friend. And yo, knowing him, I know like this dude was like probably like what the fuck this guy. I called him like yo, my bad, man. It's like bro, bro, you know what? Like like come on, bro, I'm gonna do this. I had to call him again and say yo, come on, can you cut me? Can you cut me sometimes? We're gonna have to break up, bro. <laughs> Don't leave me, Cal. I'm sorry, y'all. I'll be better. I'll be better. <laughs> it's funny I got hit with that. Like, a dude comes in and you minutes late. He looks at me and goes, you don't want this money? No. No. Oh, <laughs> and I, I, like, and, like I said, after 10 minutes, don't even bother coming. Like, yeah, for sure. Can you stay, like, Because you know, I, I, I got the next guy coming in already. Yeah, like, do you want to rush that cut or do you want to get that cut? Yeah. Like, you know, it's basically a dollar a minute, bro. Like, I think that's fair for a decent haircut. Yeah. But people, you know how they be, bro. They're like, oh man, man, this is this is crazy. I'm like crazy to you. I was like, yo, I don't make hourly, bro. <laughs> like, I make uh, right. We don't, we don't get paid hourly. Yeah. If yeah, you don't come, I don't, I don't get paid. paid. I'm like, yo, so who's that weird to? Like, come on, bro. Like, this is crazy. I was like, I was like, so it shouldn't be like that. Well, you schedule an appointment with a doctor, right? <laughs> if you like to have a doctor's appointment, they charge you extra. Oh, you can leave actually. That's yeah. what I thought. I remember my doctor had an appointment. My doctor, he told me the doctor's gonna be late, and I was like, okay, you schedule my appointment. I'm leaving. She looks at me crazy. I'm like, what, what's what are you talking about? I'm on my time too. Yeah. Just as much as he's on his time, we're both on the clock. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna leave a day at work for a gentleman to be late right here to go back. Yeah, that's why we make these appointments to, mm -hmm. to, you know, so we can get out of work. But no, like, come on, man. This man got every reason for what he does. I respect it. This is just shady for someone to. I only met you guys probably went through that as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going through that right now, man. Yeah. Wow, man. I'm about to impose a three, five dollar fucking service fee for just booking if they that way make sure that they show up. Yeah. Five dollar deposit. You want this five? Man? Right. <laughs> yeah, like, and everybody's told me like you should do the ass. You should do half the cut. Memo me cash at me. That's the only reason why I'm getting them on the cash out. They're showing me like look, well, you want to pay me some half now. Well, we're going to be leaving now, okay? Bye.
It was very nice meeting you. Oh, no problem. It was great talking with you guys. Okay. Cam. Yeah, you never know. Thank you, baby. My boy, it's nice to meet you, bro. I'll be, hey, I'll be back next year to see you again. Hey, hey brother. Hey, brother. Right. It, it was good chatting with you, brother. Oh, oh, big guy. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll be back next year. Don't you? I'll be back. Yeah. You ever come to California, man? I'm telling you. Could you ever go over there, dude? Stop. I want you to stop by, baby. Come by, dude. Come by. Come by. Just take an inch off. Just take an inch. All right, Cam. Take it easy, brother. You have a good one. All right, guys. Thank you.